Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the latest B&M Dalek set, which is the History of the Daleks set number 6 from Evil of the Daleks 1967, which is very good timing because Evil of the Daleks, the animated version, has just been released this year, so now we have some brand new figures from that story. So as ever, let's begin by taking a look at the packaging. The figures are packaged in the familiar window box featuring the current style guide with the new logo, gold limited edition foil sticker on the front, and then of course the little red box out saying that this is from The Evil of the Daleks, 1967. And then on the back of the box we have a synopsis for the story, as well as a look at the figures inside, and with a little bit of behind the scenes information as well. And then once you take the figures out of the box, we're treated to a diorama backdrop, which is of course the Emperor Dalek on Scaro. This is great with your Daleks posed against it, and of course this is probably the closest we're going to get to an Emperor Dalek. Out of the box we have our two Daleks. So we've got our Emperor Dalek Scarred on the right, which we've seen variations of over the years. And then we have our new variant, which is a new Dalek drone, which is the first Dalek to have the pupil eye stalk. So we'll start off with him. This is a figure that I was really hoping we'd get to because it's not common to see a 60s Dalek with a pupil. It kind of is one of those things that you sort of saw it a lot during the 90s, props that were made like this in these 60s colours, but would have the pupil. Uh, I mean, Product Enterprise did it with their talking Daleks and they did it with their remote control Daleks. Even though it only appeared once in a story that no longer exists, it's great that we finally have it in this scale. It looks really nice. I love the way that that looks. It's quite unusual, but it, it, it's kind of nostalgic. It's weird. Otherwise, it is very much the same as previous 60s Daleks. If you've got the Power of the Daleks set earlier, you know basically what you're getting. All the paint apps here are very neat and tidy around the eye discs and the glossy paint job to the eye itself. You've got the egg dome lights from previous versions. This time, however, it doesn't have that sort of white frosting effect on it. And of course, the rest of the Dalek is in that brilliant new silver that they've been using lately, which is fantastic. It looks very nice. All of the paint apps around the neck bin are very well done against the mesh and stuff. And then, of course, you have the shoulder section, which is painted in grey with the silver collar and slats around the outside. One thing to note, this time round, the shoulder section is completely grey, not like with the Power of the Daleks version where part of it was silver. I imagine it was kind of some sort of fluky error that got past before anyone sort of spotted it. But here that's been rectified. And then we've got the 70s gun stick and the standard plunger with the glossy black plunger at the end. And then the lovely baby blue hemispheres. Again, paint apps here, very well done, very neat and tidy. And much like with the other 60s Daleks from B&M, we have the slight scuffs around the fender section at the bottom, which is great because it just adds an extra level of authenticity, which I really love. So this is a lovely Dalek, really, really nice. Then of course we have our Emperor Daleks guard. Like I said, we've had a couple of these over the years. We've had the initial collector set two version that came out donkeys years ago, I think about 2010, something like that. Then this figure got released again in the Toys R Us Dr. Dalek 2 pack with the second Doctor. That was slightly different again. And then we have this version, which is more akin to the collector set number two version, but it's just fixed and tweaked a few things. So first of all, we've got the different eye stalk. It's the 70s eye stalk. This time the pupil has been painted white. So it's got that sort of almost sort of squinty, narrow looking eye, which I always really like. That's always really good fun. The paint job on the dome, the black finish, isn't quite glossy, but it's not quite matte. It's sort of silky, but it works really well. I, I really like it. So it's slightly different compared to the other versions. The egg cup dome lights are exactly the same as before. All the paint apps around the neck bin are very well done, very neat and tidy. Same for the shoulder section. And likewise, the grey for the shoulders is complete. And again, you've got the same 70s gun stick, the same manipulator arm with the glossy black plunger on the end. Paint apps for the baby blue hemispheres, again, very well done, very neat and tidy, no bleeds or anything like that. And as ever, it's got the same scuff marks around the fender. Here are all of the Emperor Daleks guard releases that we've had over the years. So you've got the collector's set number two right at the far end. You've got the two-pack version in the middle, and then you've got this version on the right. So you can just see the differences. Obviously, the egg cup dome lights have evolved since the first release, which is good. And there's a variety of different eye stalks. 
I'm sure that there are Dalek aficionados out there who will be able to detail the versions and the props, you know, which is more accurate or which isn't. It's great to have another version of this Dalek for those who missed out on those earlier releases. Something that is also worth noting is that the grey on the shoulder sections has metamorphosized yet again. So it's not quite the darker grey that we've seen on previous 60s Daleks, and it's not quite the really light grey that we saw on the B&M sets last year that caused uh, a bit of a stir. It's sort of somewhere in the middle. And until I put them side by side with the other Daleks, I actually didn't notice. So again, Dalek aficionados, let me know which is the better colour. Did the paint jobs change ever so slightly for this story? Let me know. I'm interested. So because both Daleks are exactly the same, I use this one for the articulation. So as usual, you have 360 degree turns at the head. Pivoting eye stalk, again, softer plastic, so as not to snap. And then ball jointed manipulator arm going all the way around. Same for the gun stick. And then of course, it's on the usual three wheels, fully rotatable one at the front, back and forth on the back. And that allows a full range of Dalek movement. A really lovely set. I'm really glad that we finally have the 60s pupil Dalek, the one-time only Dalek, and like I said, it's nice to have another Emperor Daleks guard for those people who missed it the first time round. So, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time for my review of the History of the Dalek set number 8. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!